today's release of cinematic pads. Now, I'm going into this totally cold uh, because uh, this is a lot of symphonic recordings that they're repurposing for from their original Albion, the Legacy Albion. Even before Albion 1, O-N-E, there was an Albion 1. <laughs> and so, uh, just like they did with Intimate Strings, this original package um, is derived from a lot of the sounds from... Um, from that original Albion. Okay, so mellow is a dulcet pad, uh, and then bright is ethereal, uh, cinematic is a distant pad. So they've got all of these different pad layers available. It does say that it's made up of uh, Albion legacy content, remastered and repackaged uh, with the uh, player. And if you own a copy of the original Albion uh, legacy, you'll get this for free. So let's just dive into this and see what we're gonna uncover. different things just you can hear different layers um, so this is just the mellow yeah home home I can see that I can see that is the power of layering this with uh, with just like a, a Symphonic Library. This is amazing. Just the first thing. Yeah, just the first thing out of the box. Now, cinematic, let's listen to what that sounds like. Just that iciness and uh, emptiness. The vastness of something. Just a beautiful soundscape. There I go with the sustain pedal, Ronald. And then you blend them together. Yeah. So that's just that's just the pad. That's, well, they're all pads. Uh, they're all pads. Okay, so this is Frosty Exhale, and again, um, now this is what I've been doing a lot. So, so the the mod stick, <laughs> the mod is over here, and sometimes I'll actually map, uh, remap it to to the first fader here, uh, like his controller three, because it's a little bit closer. Uh, sometimes it's you know reaching that far. I just having it right right here, uh, having controls right there really makes it nice. So this is Frosty. Ooh. Exhale, exhale. So the mod wheel brings the exhale, I guess. Yeah, thanks, Secret. Yeah, please do. Okay, so we'll just we'll just get this out of the way. If it's your first time here, go ahead and subscribe and click on the notifications and like. I, I just appreciate all the support. It's just so much fun. I love it. You know I you know I love it, and I love sharing it with you. Wow. Yeah. So when you've got that modulation wheel down, the dynamic control, it stays in there, but you can make it breathe fire, I guess, or frost.
know, it's just amazing. It's amazing. Here we go. Let's just do some more. This is uh, Midnight Waves. Let's see. Secret, uh, secret. let me see what we, what we see here. Uh, okay, so yeah. Yeah, that's the thing. It's all about frequency balance. Uh, so secret, like this would be great to, um, you know, have those really thick textures and then you can lay something top on top. Just so every every instrument has its place. So you have like the canvas with these and then you can layer those flutes and those high strings on top of that. And so everything has a place. Uh, so this is the Midnight Waves. It's hard to describe. I hear strings, I hear organs, I hear voices, I hear orchestra, you know, you hear, you, you, you just, you just have to hear through all of the layers of what's going on there. When you need a spatial library, cinematic pads from Spitfire Audio. <laughs> Amazing. Amazing. Ooh. Okay, this has got me going somewhere. Okay. Oh Lord, our Lord, how majestic is your name in all the earth. Okay. Wow. When I consider the heavens and the work of thy fingers, the moon and the stars which thou hast created, what is man that thou art mindful of him and the son of man that thou take notice of him? You have made him a little lower than the heavenly beings, but you've crowned him with glory and honor. O oh Lord, our Lord, how majestic is your name. That's amazing. Now that now that is amazing. That's amazing. Yeah, I love having that little reverb there. It just it kind of has some fun. Um, that's amazing. Wonderful. And I'm not doing anything with this. <laughs> I, it's just like, I'm just, it's just, it's just, it's just amazing. And you've got to remember that dynamic control and then the expression. See, you can see I've got it all the way down, but that FC7's got that spring-loaded little extra 80%, 20% that I can just kind of go up. Okay. Yeah, so you get sucked down the rabbit hole very quickly. Um, and, and, and again, you know, they're repurposing. Um, they're re they, are, they are library responsible. They're recycling their, um, their audio. Now, what was this? Yeah, this is Midnight Waves. Okay, so this is just like the um, the third or fourth one. Okay, Woodland, Woodland Wind. Um, yeah. Thanks, guys. Glenn, thank you so much. Yeah. You know, I can't do Morgan Freeman. But I can do uh, maybe James Earl Jones or... Okay, so you can... Yeah, so you, you can hear the woodwinds here.
it's just um, it's cinematic. <laughs> it's cinematic for sure, absolutely. Mm. Uh, roadside crosstalk, and I'm just kind of playing without adjusting anything except for the dynamics because there's just there's just so much that we can get into. I am I do see something over here that I think. And uh, I think also that um, orchestral swarms is on special. Um, it kind of, it kind of feels like that. I mean, just like these performances and dynamics. So that's roadside crosstalk. You can just hear that that swelling, and and then if you listen, you hear all those little things happening in there as well. Yeah, there's lots of stuff happening here. Um, um, Bowed glass. It sounds vocal to me. see what on this particular one yeah so basically they're just they're they are more like um, pad layers than even even mic positions in the traditional sense it's really appreciated man I appreciate it so much so that's the mellow now bright And that's more flute-like to me. And then you can assign uh, MIDI controls. Yeah, that sounds really beautiful and flute-like. Yeah, the the mics are voices. They are they are voices. They are they are the various types of pads. Um, So they're basically three unique sound sources, and then you can layer those together. Beautiful. It's it's beautiful. Very nice. Um, mm, euphoric sandstorm. Um, yeah, White Seal Studios. He he loves the that sandstorm. He uses that a lot. So let's. Do That's pretty ominous. Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't think this had, I don't think it's related. But listen to how that swells up. It, and then, uh, but that's just pretty epic. And you know, um, I actually saw, uh, when, you know, it was so cool because I saw Star Wars when it came out and then uh, Dune. Dune is a weird, uh, weird thing to wrap your head around as far as the, uh, that, the whole, the whole story and everything. I guess Star Wars was a little more straight ahead fun and action. Dune had so many layers, it still does. And um, I even remember uh, Crawl when that came out. That was like some really interesting, 
It was an interesting time to be uh, to grow up in the very beginnings of science uh, fiction and space fantasy and epic cinema. It's just really cool. That thing just it's just so full of stuff. Just listen, listen to that. I'm going to kick the cinematic layer on. And just listen to how that... I mean, for hybrid scoring and stuff, this is just spectacular uh, for that. Uh, euphoric stance, sandstorm, pulsing water, and uh, we'll do a few more of these. So I'm holding that D. And then it allows me to kind of come up here and kind of do it around. See how it is? You can just, you can get taken away. You can get taken away. That's what it's all about. It's about these sounds uh, that are um, absolutely, they are destinations. They're not just libraries, they're destinations. They when you When you touch your fingers to the notes and they trigger those sounds and they come into your ears, it, it is like a portal. It is just like, I'm here, but I am not here. I am, I am in where that sound is coming from. And that is the, the power of sound design and instruments and, and being able to play these instruments like this. Um, uh, it's just incredible. It, it transports you. It takes you places. It takes you places that uh, that a vehicle or an airplane or even a spaceship uh, can't uh, can't take you, um, and uh, it is incredible. It just it, it's what excites me. It's what it's what uh, just is such an amazing part of being able to do this. Um, amazing. Now this is house uh, halcyon strings, and I like to start with that dynamic layer a little low, so we can kind of hear what's going on. Yeah, man. <clears throat> yeah, Ronald, those lows, those lows are crazy. Um, and um, speaking of lows, it was like uh, I was I was able to go see, I was on the road uh, 
when we were on the road, and this has been several years ago when Interstellar was released and uh, sat in an IMAX, um, sat in that IMAX theater with those those subs under the seats with those huge organ sounds, <laughs> the pipe organ sounds, and those subs and the lows, it just bring, it just brought everything to such a, an amazing volcanic, volcanic beaches. It was just amazing. The, the, the lows, again, you gotta have the highs and you gotta have the lows to bring everything together. the contrast with with the lows and how it just translates all the way up the keyboard yeah it just translates so that's volcanic beaches um okay you know we're almost at the end of the uh, patch list um yeah uh this is dystopian uh ruin So you've got a lot of these, they've got a lot of sustain, but you can kind of play around with that. It's like a, it's like an opus or a, yeah, it's, it's, it's just hard to describe. It's a little hard to describe. Wow. Okay. 